everyone, thanks for coming back for another anime figure opening video today. Recently we've had a lot of Rem and Miku figures, so I thought today we're going to spice it up a bit by opening up a Shinobu figure that we won a little while back. And oh my god, I have been wanting to open this so badly for quite a while now. Because of Halloween, I opened up those Magician figures, and I've opened up a few figures since then. So, very, very excited to open this up. So, let's get straight into looking at the box. So as you can see, we have our Band Presto logo up here. We also have our Shinobu Kocho text over here. And we just have Shinobu taking up the whole front of this box. And what a beautiful looking figure. I am so excited to open this up. What a cute little face there. Um, you can also see there's also some Wisteria plants in the background, which is kind of cool. Uh, down here we have our Kimetsu no Yaiba logo. And of course, down here we have the Kimetsu no Yaiba information and our Bandai logo. So that's the front. On the side over here, as we can see, we have Shinobu in, well, a very, very small kind of state. She looks like a mini Shinobu, which is kind of interesting. Um, they could have used the space a little bit better, I feel, but there you go. Uh, on the other side, we do have Shinobu over here, and then we have another character, Inosuke, um, which is kind of cool. And it's also actually the sepia version, if you can see that on the camera, it's the sepia color. So for this Shinobu figure, it's not the sepia version, this is the original colour, but this was a second release, so that's why it's a little bit different coloured, why it might be a little bit lighter. And then on the other side, which you could say is kind of the true front, again we have our Shinobu here, a wonderful faded picture in the background, again our Japanese text on the side, and then down here we have our Bandai Spirits address with a little bit of information of what it's made of. And then. On the bottom, we also have some Japanese text on safety and some contact information, so that's kind of always there. But then on the top, we have just the Kimetsu no Yaiba logo, again with a bit of Japanese information, and we have our Anaplex logo up here, Jaya Prize and B. B meaning that it is the B Prize, not the A, this is the B, um, although she's an A in my heart. Maybe it's a B for Bob, who knows. But anyway, let's stop being creepy, let's get her open. Okay, and in with our knife. I don't know why I laid this box down. <laughs> so we actually did win this one in the game center quite a while back. We didn't film it, of course, because this was before we decided we were going to try and film some of these figures. Um, she costs about 2,000 yen to win, which is kind of good, I felt, because these are always bloody expensive. But there you go, that is what it is. Um, we also have a few QR codes here, so you can check those out. It's the exact same on the other side. But uh, let's get this open. And, uh, yeah, of course, it's a cardboard triangle. Yeah, it's always angled in weirdly like this because when you're trying to win it, they want to weight it to one side, so it's better in the game center's favor. So, uh, kind of a shame. But um, we can't actually get it out like this, so we need to open this and get our knife back out. And the tape there so that we can unfold to reveal a lot of plastic. And, ooh, oh, wow, this is pretty. All right, you're going to have to give me a second because I need to get this out of the packaging. So, one sec. Okay, our stand. And here is our stand. And as you can see, it is just an oval shape. There are two holes. It's pretty small, actually. It's about the size of my hand. So, yeah, the figure itself is also quite small, too. Um, it's a little bit deep. I mean, probably about, I don't know, eight millimeters deep. And then on the back, we just have Bandai Spirits made in China. Again, with these two little divots where the holes are. So, um, yeah. It's kind of cool, we'll put that down over here. And here is our Shinobu figure. And as you can see, she has been decapitated. So we need to reattach her head. The head itself actually has a little bit of a set shape. So it actually does go in the right way and not the wrong way. Um, it has a bit, of a bit of a squeak to it. So I don't know if you heard that, but wow, look at you. Oh, I'm so excited to open this up. All right, let's get straight into looking at her face. So as you can see, she has these beautiful, beautiful purple eyes. They go from a very light kind of purpley color there down into a dark color. So there's a lovely gradient going on. Her nose does stick out a fair bit, especially for the size of the figure. And it is quite sharp, so do be careful. And then we have her mouth, which has also been indented and painted with a little bit of pink on the outline for lips and the white for teeth. So very, very pretty. Um, also, sorry for these shadows. I'm filming this at night because I don't have time in the day to film these. So. Uh, yeah, if the lighting's a bit off, apologies for that. Um, but with all that aside, moving to her hair, as we can see, she has this front part with a few kind of dents to it. And there's a kind of dark, like kind of black color going all the way into this deep purple, which is cool. Um, that's the same over here. And that's split off to the sides. Very pretty. 
We can also see that her hair is in a bun at the back, it all comes to one big point. And there is this beautiful butterfly clip, and this is very, very pretty. Very nicely designed and very, very shiny. You can see the light catching in that, so yeah, it's cool. Moving down her body, as we can see, she is wearing her dark kind of bluey purple Slayer uniform. Um, this is interesting because most of the other figures have that brown color, so it's kind of different, which is cool. Um, we can see that her collar is nicely detailed there at the top. She has some wonderful golden buttons going down. And there is this lovely white belt in the middle. And again, there's a nice attention to detail there, the same as we saw on that Tangidor before, so pretty cool. We can also see, and my favourite part of this figure, this absolutely stunning Howdy. And this, my friends, is beautiful. I mean, there is so much attention to detail here. First off, I love how it's actually nice and flat on the collar parts here, very, very well thought out. We have this beautiful design on the, on the outfit itself. Again, that's just very pretty and very reflective of the actual character herself. But again, there is this beautiful, beautiful shade, this gradient going from white to this kind of turquoisey color to the pink. That is so pretty. And I love these sleeves with this beautiful kind of blotchy pattern as if it's like a butterfly. I mean, this is so pretty. And you will see it so much more when we have those pretty shots later on, but wow. I also love all of these nice little folds. So there's quite a few folds here on the sleeve. There's always a hanging down part here. And there's also a few kind of bumps on the back to show that it is also folding and attached to the body. And there's this wonderful kind of wave on the back. So yeah, wow, very, very impressed here. Look at that. Oh, you are so pretty. Um, you can also see that on her hand here, she does have a few nails that have been detailed. A few fingers are sticking out so she can grab onto her sword. We can also see that under her Slayer uniform or Slayer Corpse uniform, she's also got a white sleeve there. So she's probably wearing some underclothes or undergarments here. And then this sword, look at that. The beautiful, beautiful green handle here. There's a lovely kind of like stopper at the middle. And again, this looks like a butterfly, so very, very pretty. And the sheath has this beautiful white and golden pattern to it. So very, very pretty, very impressed. Um, you can even see it's golden down here too. And it looks like it's actually being designed to have some kind of pattern on it. I think that's just the way they painted it, but it actually looks super cool. So very, very nice. Moving down her legs, as we can see again, there's this wonderful fold going on where her trousers have been kind of brought up a little bit. Again, this might be for padding or for warmth. I'm not really sure, but it looks kind of cool. But like parachute pants <laughs> way back in the day. So maybe that's why, who knows? But again, those folds are pretty cool. But again, she has this lovely kind of guard here on her shins. Again, this has the same color as we have up here. So very, very pretty. There is a tiny, tiny little white bow on the back of both of her feet, which is beautiful. Very, very impressed. And then on her feet, she has these dark purple socks along with her getter and these really nice kind of purple straps. So very, very pretty. God, this is stunning. Look at this. And then just a final point here, we have these two little bits sticking out here and these are different sizes and these will go into the stand. So let's just quickly get her in her stand together. So as we can see, there's a bigger hole here and there's a smaller hole there. So in we go. And there is our Shinobu figure. And wow, she's tiny. She really is probably about 15 or 13, 14, 15 centimeters tall. Pretty small, but what a beauty. Yeah, I'm kind of speechless, which is kind of tough for these videos. I should talk. Anyway, let me give you all a few beautiful shots of this figure. So. Let's take a look.
And now it is time for you to move to the shelf. So we're going to come over here and we are going to put her in here in the nicely newly lit area. And uh, I'll do a video on this another time, but we have tried to light up everything a little bit better. But she will go nicely in here with the Shinobu kind of memorial thing in the background. But wow, what a beautiful, beautiful figure. Again, I am so impressed with the quality here. Very, very nice. But hey, thanks again for tuning in today. If you liked today's video, please do give us a like and please subscribe for many, many more figures coming very, very soon. Okay, bye.